everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today, you're going to see the quickest of declutters. I'm just going to show you everything that I pulled out. These are things I am no longer using, the things I don't want to use. A lot of things you'll see repeats of, but uh, hopefully you enjoy because these things are leaving my collection, never to be seen again. <laughs> so let's start with brushes because I realized that there were a lot of brushes that I wasn't using. Starting with this dude. Yeah. Okay, so do you remember when Artiste brushes last year were like all the thing and Moda came out with these beautiful rainbow brushes things? I've kept one and I've decluttered all the rest of them. I, I, I just prefer the Beauty Blender and it is soft, it is dense, it's like oh, but it's so hard to clean like I can't get my foundation out of there. I, it's just not for me. It's not for me and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not for me. I also I'm not a fan of this one, and so many people love this. This is a T Real Techniques foundation brush. Um, I don't think it's for foundation, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe it's for like pressed powder foundations, but I have a tendency not to use a brush like this. I'm talking myself into using it again. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep that one because maybe I do have a powder foundation that I'd work well with. I don't know. Uh, this one from Real Techniques, I don't know what's up with this. This is like this really dense, ooh, feel that powder fly. Really dense pointed brush. I just, I, as you can see, I tried to use it today to like do in the crease, but look, it's like not blown out at all. It looks harsh. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it down below. Nope, too big. And then I was like, concealer? I, I don't use concealer brushes like this, so. That's pointless in my collection. <laughs> of course they're pointless in my collection. It's very decluttering them, Julie. Okay. Uh, speaking of concealer brushes, this one is from Sonia Kashuk. It came in a set. As you can see, I've used it for cream eyeshadow, but that's pretty much all the reason I use it. I don't need to keep it for cream eyeshadows. Uh, first of all, I only have one of them left. And second of all, it doesn't work that well because it's for concealer and you're supposed to go like this, but that is gone. Can you guys tell I'm in a weird mood today? Can you tell? Like, I've tried to start filming this video like five times. <laughs> the struggle is real today. The struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so then lip products. Y'all know I've been going through lip products this year, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like. I've got my advent calendar, project pan, and I'll link that up above, which has been really fun to do. But a lot of lip products in that project hasn't worked out for me. So let me show you the ones that I'm decluttering. Boom. I got these two from NYX. I've got the NYX Lingerie in the shade Corset. I've got the NYX Suede Lip, excuse me, NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Retro. Just not right shades or patchy. I am getting rid of this one, which was in that project. This is the Burt's Bees. This one is in Doused Rose. Nope. <laughs> bad color for me, plus the smell. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This one went bad. This is the Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Winterberry. This was in my lip project Use It Up 18 Lip Products in 2018. It went bad. It made me gag. I'm actually not even going to put that in my pile beside me. It's going to go straight into the trash because I just can't deal with that. Um, these two I decluttered because of my makeup rehab. These are lipsticks. I bought other lipsticks and these are just the losers in my collection hanging out. I've got the Ulta Feeling Peachy and then a mystery shade. Who nowadays makes a lipstick and puts no identifying information on it? Like, seriously, there's nothing. There's not even a sticker. And there was never a sticker. And because I can't tell you what it is, and I don't know what it is, it's going. <sighs> Six lip products. Go. Do you like that? Do you guys watch The Bachelor? Glitter. Uh, if you don't watch The Bachelor, that makes no sense to you. Okay. Mascara. This one dried out, unfortunately. This is the Katie Kent Eye Mascara from CoverGirl. I got it in this shade, Black Noir. I went to go use it, and... Whoa, buddy. Do you see that brush? <laughs> what is that? Okay, so to be honest with you, I don't know if it's actually gone bad, but I've had it for probably close to a year now, just not open. This is the first time I opened it, took out the package. But look, I see the reservoirs of like sticky mascara and then bristles that are like coated in mascara. No. 
No. Heck to the no. I'm not putting that anywhere close to my eye. Y'all must be crazy. Is this supposed to give you a cat eye? Is that like some sort of magic thing? Have you never heard of the butterfly effect? Or the butterfly, not the butterfly effect. Um, the butterfly mascara from L'Oreal with like the actual winged out brush? No, trash. That's crazy. Shh, don't fall out of the trash can, I know it's full. <laughs> okay, um, another thing that I decluttered through my advent calendar, this is the Manizer Sister Palette. You know, I have seen so many people say this has great pigmentation and is like really reflective. It didn't do it for me. It wasn't reflective enough. It was too subtle. And like, this is my highlight today and I don't think it's super blingy, but I think you can see it. And this, this was like putting just white shadow on my face. I don't know if maybe I got a bad one or something. The balm, I don't know. It's just, it didn't work out for me. Um, two nail polishes I'm decluttering. This is, again, penalty because I bought nail polish and I wasn't supposed to. <sighs> it's so hard not to buy nail polish and lipstick for me, so I have to penalize myself by getting rid of other ones. This is the OPI Nail Liqueur in Celestial Is More. This one just got clumpy. This one I haven't taken out of the package in two years, so I thought it was time to get rid of it since I haven't wanted to use it. And this is Joyce by Julep. I love these colors, though. Like. I love everything about Julep nail polishes, just this particular one just didn't appeal to me as much as other ones do. You know this as I'm trying to use a nail polish. I love Julep nail polishes. I can't say enough good things about them. This eyeliner, again, part of that advent calendar. I am shocked on that I'm not loving more things from these. That advent calendar project, I took all the stuff still in boxes in my collection, like brand new stuff, and put it in this project so I could use it, love it. and. There are very few things in that project that I've absolutely loved. Like, I'm shocked. So I'm just decluttering so much of it, which is great because now I won't have, first of all, I won't have stuff I don't like. And second of all, I'll actually know if I like something or not. Because why would I have brand new products and then never use them? Just like look at them? That's my problem. Uh, this is the Aqua XL Makeup Forever Eyeliner. This smudged. I don't know how they, people say this is waterproof. This is just a little sample size and it looked horrible. I looked like a raccoon at the end of the day. Again, maybe it's just my eyes, but like, I don't normally have a problem with eyeliner. I mean, I personally smudged this out today, so that's on purpose. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these smudgy eyes. It makes my eyes look wrinkly, doesn't it? Look older, but it's okay. I'm here to play with makeup. What, what? <laughs> I'm in such a weird mood. Okay, so then I was looking at single eyeshadows, which I never use, and I saw these Mabel Maybelline. Nope. I saw these Milani eyeshadows. I bought them when they went on a dollar at the dollar store. I just, you know, I kept a couple of them, but these are easily duped in my collection. And I think some of these came from the swap from Triggy, I just don't remember. This is the shade 04 Bella Cafe. It is a mid-tone brown. I'm sure this is good crease shade, but <laughs> if I haven't used it in a year, I'm probably not going to use it. This is Bella Silver, and it is a silver. They're not very inventive names. <laughs> this is Bella Violet. I kept the other purple that I had, which I really liked, which just gave more pigmentation than this. It was a little more unique. I just bought the Kat Von D Plum Quad, and it has a very similar shade. So, those are going. They're going away. Oh, my eyebrows itch. How is that possible? Feels so good to scratch an itch. Then I've got the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Primer. I used one of these up earlier. This is the Even Tone one. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. Even Tone. This has a slight tint to it. It's not my favorite. Since I had duplicate, I'm going to get rid of that one. This fragrance came in some sort of thing I purchased. This is the Wild Fox fragrance. No. No. Everyone's fragrance preferences are different, so if you love that, I'm sorry, it's not for me. I'm being harsh today. Show a little love, Julie. I'm just, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and then the Bosha charcoal makeup melter cleansing balm. Here's the thing. I had never used these before. 
I started with the Bosha one. I took some in my hands, rubbed my hands together, massaged on my face. I woke up the next morning with broken blood vessels in my eyes. <laughs> Did I rub too hard? Am I just like crazy? Because it said I could use it on my eyes. So I was like, do, 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 whoop, 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 like all in my eyes trying to get my makeup off. And it did a good job, but I had all of these, like, I wish I, I'd shown you in a video. It was like there, and I had one up there. I looked crazy. And I'm like, this is, this is the only thing I had done differently. So because my eyes are weaklings, <laughs> and my blood vessels tend to break apparently when I rub my eyes, and maybe I was being too rough. I don't know. I'm kind of a beast, so <laughs> they're gone. I don't want them. I do not want them. I'm going to give them to somebody else who will enjoy it. And then lastly, but certainly not leastly, this is a hand cream. My mom gave this to me. It's from the brand Kitchen Cupboard. I think it's from Kmart because it says Shop Kmart on the back. Um, it says it's the Country Apple scent. I don't know. It doesn't smell like apple to me. It's nothing I want to put on my body. So I'm going to pass this one on as well. I also don't like hand creams that come in tubs like this. I don't want to dip my hands in constantly. I'd rather have a squeezy tube. So there we go. That's what I'm going to do clutter <laughs> for this month. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for dealing with my craziness with this video and just like brain farts all the way through. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!